Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. In this video, we will look at the question marks of PCM. Okay, so let's see this question. In this question, we are provided with marks of N students in physics, chemistry, and maths. Okay, and we have to perform the three following operations. So we have something like this. For n equals five, we have the five students S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5. And the marks that they have are represented by these three arrays of physics, chemistry, and maths. So physics uh, array is representing the all the marks of all the st n students of physics. Okay, this chemistry array is representing the chemistry marks of these n students, and this maths array is representing the maths marks of these n students. Okay. So what do we have to do in this question? Let's take the question statement. Okay. So in this question, uh, the first thing that we have to do or the criteria we are going to sort these numbers is that we have to sort the students in ascending order of their physics marks. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is let's just write the marks like this physics, maths, uh, here, okay, physics, chemistry, and maths, right? So the first thing we have to do is sort the students in ascending order of their physics marks. So let's sort them. We would get, we are going to sort them in ascending order of the physics marks, right? So that would be five, five. 8, 9 and 9, right? We would get something like this. Now, it is saying that once this is done, once this is done, sort the students having the same marks in physics in the descending order of their chemistry marks. Now, what does this mean? Uh, here you can see that we have two similar physics marks and here also we have two similar physics marks. Now, if I have two same uh, physics marks, what what will be the student that it is going to represent now what do i mean by that that for five here i can either have s5 or i can either have s2 right here i can also either have s5 or s2 i don't know which one it is representing right so if they are uh, if they are same if the physics marks are same then then i'm going to sort them on the basis of their chemistry marks if they are same and I am going to sort them on the basis of chemistry marks, I am going to sort them in descending order, which means that the larger value will come first. So here for five, we have these two numbers, right? These two students. So we will sort this like six and four. We are sorting them in de uh, descending order. Okay. So this is like this. It is descending order. Now we have eight only. So eight is only one student, which is seven. Then for nine, we have two similar marks. We will check that condition later. Okay. So we have sorted the chemistry marks and physics marks. Now, once this is done, once this is also done, sort the students having the same marks in physics and chemistry in the ascending order of their maths marks. What does this mean? Uh, let's just first name the students, right? We know that there is only one five, six student. This would be S5, right? Uh, five, four student, which is S2. We have eight seven student which is s4 now uh, what are their maths marks we have 5 6 12 5 4 10 and uh, 8 7 13 okay now here we encounter our, our another criteria that is that if the physics marks are same i'm going to sort them on the de uh, descending order of their chemistry marks but what if the chemistry marks are also same here it is saying that the chemistry marks are also same and if the chemistry marks are also same i'm going to sort them on the ascending order of their maths marks okay so the maths marks are uh, here we have nine and three right so we have these two students so for these two students i have s3 and s1 uh, and i'm going to sort them in the ascending order of their maths marks which is 11 and 15. So I would write 11 and 15. Okay. 11 is S3 and 15 is uh, S1. Okay. So I've sorted my uh, list something like this. I've sorted all my arrays. 
and i would i would return this or uh, what i have to do is you have to complete the body of the custom sort function after sorting final changes should be made in the given arrays only which means that i have to sort the original arrays only so in the end i would return 5 5 8 9 9 for my physics array right for my chemistry array i would return or the changes that would be made are for chemistry it would be 6 4 7 3 and 3 right and for my maths for my maths array the changes would be 12 10 13 11 and 15 okay this would be my answer So how are we going to solve this question? Okay, let's see. We are going to use a class. Okay, let's let's try to solve this question as we code. This uh, we would get more insight like that. So first, we are going to use a class. So public static class, and let's call this marks. Okay, so in this class, we would have three things. in physics marks in chemistry marks and in math marks right we are going to make two constructors a blank one and one with parameters so we would have int physics int chem int maths right and let's assign them so in physics this dot physics is a uh, physics this dot chem is chem this dot maths is equals to maths now what do we have in this class we are going to make an array or uh, rather we are going to make an array of objects of this class so we would have an array like this so we had these these five students right so every single array or every single ob every single component of an array is going to represent an object and in that object we would have the numbers so 9 3 and what is 15 okay so 9 3 and 15 which is uh, representing the marks of student 1 so we would have an array like this okay and this we would have an array of marks similarly the, there would be 5 4 10 5 4 10 right now i would have an array like this with marks uh, like stored in an object okay so let's take the physics or let's take the size first so int size equals to or int n equals to physics dot length right and uh, let's just make an array so int arr and this is of marks type right this is of my class marks type this is marks array new marks and here the uh, size is going to be n okay so i made my array of marks type now now i have i have to sort these uh, objects right i have to sort these objects and how am i going to sort these objects well first i know how to sort arrays i know how to sort arrays but i don't know how to sort uh, multiple objects right if it if i had to solve or if i had to sort uh, 9 5 985 right i could have done that but i don't want to sort them like that i have to sort them on the basis of the students right because if i change them if i change them it is not going to be stable the chemistry marks are going to be different uh from the physics marks and the math marks if i sort them normally right i don't have to do that so so i have to use class right where i have to uh sort them on the basis of the student object i hope you understand this point that i have to sort them on the basis of the students not the marks itself because if i sort them on the basis of the marks itself then here you can see that this is this array is not completely sorted right this array is not completely sorted but this is only sorted when the marks are equal so when the chemistry marks and the physics marks are equal only then these two are sorted so 
we are using some criteria functions now how am i going to solve this in my class well in priority queue we have done something known as comparable right so if i write comparable here if i write a comparable of marks then if i write a comparator function right so first thing first let's fill this first let's fill our array let's fill this so a for loop from int i zero which will go till n plus plus i and we will make a new object so marks object or rather arr of i a uh, new marks and we have to use arr of i or rather physics of i then chemistry of i and then maths of i right i've filled my array of objects so here i have this uh, i have an array of objects like this okay so now i have to sort them and i will use array sort sort on my ara okay now i have to write my comparable function or my compare to so i would write public int compare to now uh, first i have to do is check that if if or let's write a object here marks object if my this dot uh, this dot physics is not equal to this object dot physics now what is this what is this part right this part is saying that if physics marks are not equal to my uh, physics marks are not equal to my other physics marks right my current physics marks are not equal to my object physics marks then then i'm just going to return i'm going to sort them on the ascending order right so i'm going to return this dot physics minus o dot physics and i will get them in the ascending order now else else when this will return when the in the ascending order right so when this is returning in ascending order now i have to uh, if if i get in this else if condition it will only mean that my this dot physics marks is equal to other dot physics marks right this will only mean that my this dot physics marks is equal to my other dot physics marks which is if they are equal then i'm sorting them in the descending order of their chemistry marks so this dot chem is not equal to o dot chem and i'll return o dot chem minus this dot chem since i'm uh, since i'm sorting them in the descending order right if i get in this else condition it will only mean that my physics marks are also equal and my chemistry marks are also equal then i will just simply return this dot math minus o dot math since i'm uh sorting them or sorting the maths part when the physics and the ma uh, chemistry marks are equal i'm sorting the maths marks in the ascending order right and since i'm uh, sorting them in ascending order i will return this this dot math minus o dot math now uh, we have written the code now we have to make the changes in the original arrays right so i have this i i have sorted this uh, array and now i have to fill the original arrays so what i what does this mean uh, for something like this for this marks we have or rather let's just use these marks only on these the mark the table that we have made and let's say that this table we have objects like these we have these objects in my array or in my marks array right so these are the objects that are stored in my marks array and this is physics and chemistry and maths marks right they are stored like something like this and this is my marks and they are sorted like this so i just have to iterate through this uh, array and i just have to change the values of physics chemistry and math 
right so what we will do is for this iteration for i equals 0 i will have 5 here for my physics uh, 6 here for my chemistry and 12 here for my maths then for this for i equals 1 i will have 5 here uh, for my physics 4 here for my chemistry and 10 here for my maths right similarly for my physics for my i equals 2 i will have 8 here then 7 here and then 13 here right for i equals 3 i would have 9 here then 3 here and then 11 here and for i equals 4 i would have 9 here 3 here and 15 here so i've sorted them on the basis of their marks or in the on the basis of the criteria that we are given now let's just write this right we just have to sort them or uh, put the values in my original array so for i less than n or let's just write arr dot length plus plus i and since i'm filling the arrays i would just write physics of i equals arr of i dot physics then chemistry of i is equals to arr of i dot chem and then uh, math of i is equals to arr of i dot math right i've sorted this let's just run this code i've not okay the errors were that first i've written just marks here second thing this length and also i've used maths here apparently which is i'm using math here right and also is there any other error let's check mm, this looks fine now let's run this still getting an okay uh, we have written extends here this implements okay now this is fine let's run this code it is accepted let's submit this we are getting the right answer I hope you understand this question. If you don't, I would suggest rewatching the part which you don't understand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.